The component strokes for the uppercase letters allow us a little bit of flourishing and a little bit of variation. So let's start with the basic stem. We're going to start at the ascender line in a super small curve and then have a dynamic stem, a dynamic downstroke coming down along the slant line. So you increase the weight and the pressure and the ink so that the heaviest part is in the middle. You're going to release pressure just before you get to the baseline and then uh, end in a small curve as well. Here's a variation. You can end in a little ball point if you come around and make a little uh, clockwise curve around the side or you can loop in as well and come around, although ooh, that one isn't very good. I should not have just let the the nib come out. That doesn't look very controlled. So let's try that again. We're going to loop around and leave it in there. And I don't like the way that that loop looks though. Okay, bear with me. We're going to try one more time. The thing that doesn't work with this one is that the angle is off. I'm going to show you in a minute. So here's the stem and here's how it loops around properly and then meets it again in that little pretzel. Now this one is off because the stress does not follow, the curvature does not follow the 55 degree angle and in this one it does. Can you see the difference? So always remember the 55 degree angle that's what makes copper plate look beautiful, the parallel lines. So there's the basic stem downstroke. And here's the basic stem upstroke, which we're going to need for letters like the A and the N, which we start at the baseline in an ever so slightly curve and then bring the nib up straight along the slant line up to the ascender space. And this one also has a couple of variations. If you can remember to leave it very light, you can start at the top, but I wouldn't recommend it. So usually you would start with this ball point at the waistline and then curve it up super light, like so. You can add a little bracket, like this one. And I think we're going to leave it here. I don't want to confuse you with too much flourishing. So it, it's better to learn the basic forms first and then add the flourishing as you get a little more comfortable in your practice. The next shape is going to be another dynamic downstroke. So starting light, increasing pressure in the center and then finishing light again. But this one is going to be a little more vertical this one is not going to follow the slant line so much because this is the line that we're going to need for our, our V's, our W's, and our N's. And I'm going to explain why that is when we get to those letters. The oval, we already know. And it's basically the same shape in the uppercase letters as well, perhaps a little rounder. It has a little more, more width. And the O letter actually kind of curves inward like that. So you go up over, thickest part in the middle, up over, and then mirror a little thicker part there as well. That one you see how that wasn't really round? The, the downstroke is a little too straight. The one on the right is a little more round and oval, so that looks better. And now we're looking at in-strokes, different in-strokes for um, the tops of the uppercase letters. So we have little waves. We can add brackets to the waves, like so. They will be in two strokes, so you have the wave and then the bracket or the loop, or the turn. These sit on the ascender line. And again, with the, 
with the uppercase letters, we have a little bit more flexibility. So I like to make the uppercase letters a little more dramatic. So I like to go above the ascender line as well. So I'm demonstrating here um, an in-stroke variety for the compound curve or a little fish hook. These are very light lines. You can think of them as a fish hook or maybe half a heart if you think the ascender line is the mirror space and you do half a heart. And then you also have the opportunity to do spirals like this one. Make sure that the entrance, that both tops of the spirals are similar in width and that they are crossing the line at the center. So that middle one, the left angle is off, the left uh, entrance isn't the same as the right exit there. And we can do complete spirals and we can do loops and we can combine the loop with the wave. We can have the lines overshoot a little bit or not. And as we go through the uppercase letters, I'm going to show you examples of how to use these.